Uh, you know, Conspiracy Carl uh, from the UK. It's 25th of November, Saturday, um, 29 nearly uh, in the evening. Anyway, I want to talk about Agenda 21, um, the fourth industrial revolution, uh, digital currency, um, slowly merging us all with, you know, machine bringing together digital, physical and biological systems, you know, bringing it all together. We're going to be so highly sophisticated um, that I'm worried that the real human inside us, you know, is going to be somewhat eradicated um distant if you like um you know we're all going to be the same we're not going to be the same um a lot of people are talking about the the uh you know the, the chemical spraying the chemtrails chemical seeding whatever you want to do a lot of the chemicals that are poured upon us will make us like little aerials if you like little antennas all of us this is why i believe that myself and so many others have been attacked with 5G technology. Um, it's a very powerful technology. Um, for those of you who don't know, you you actually believe that you've been in touch with a, a deity or, or or something like that, or that's something of a much higher source, and they can plant voices. Um, it sounds like somebody that you know. If if I was to explain this to a doctor, I'd probably be written off and claim schizophrenic or something but that's the sad reality of it they can actually aim and point this technology at singular people and you know i i don't know what they're doing with other people but i know what's happening with myself and it's similar to other people's um cases of it as well so it's it's not a nice technology at all um all i can suggest is for you people that have had hadn't had this yet then please take this as a warning don't listen to it don't you, you know the real inside you you know your real soul you know what keeps you you your personality what keeps it real so just stick by that never stray from that path and then i don't believe then that you can i'm not going to say go totally wrong because i don't know what future future um, projects they've got but I, I can tell you that we're already slipping into the net into the internet they're slowly merging us they're they're doing it with the phones i'm talking to you on now i'm talking to you on a phone um and they are slowly merging us with that i mean you, you get some people that wake up the first thing they do as soon as they open their eyes is grab their phone wanting to see if they've got any messages or, or notifications or, or or anything else, you know. That's the first thing they do um, in the 80s and, and times like that. It was so much different. People would get up, they stretch, they'd look out the window, they'd look at the sun, they'd look at, they'd look at whatever. They'd do exercises, they'd, they'd do all sorts of things. They'd communicate with other humans. But they, this communication is, is slowly it's like it's going down a funnel and it's going to disappear into a, a small spout of what's left um there's so much technology that people aren't aware of um I, i've watched this thing and I, I dare say so many other people have watched it as well it's over the internet and it's about these drones tiny little drones and that they can outsmart a bullet so a bullet can't hit these little drones they, they, they move out of the way they're too quick they carry enough charge to when it when it flies at a human being it can impact enough charge just to punch a, a hole straight into the skull and straight into the brain kill the human straight away um these ch these drones are, are so cheap they the some people can buy them by the you know by the, the thousands and release them on a swarm of of uh, an individual just to take them out quite easily and, and of course there's no comeback with these sorts of things um, so we have this to to look forward to um, so technology is changing <coughs> there's also these nanobots um, one of my subscribers I'm not going to say names so I don't want to you know put anybody in, in danger or anything but one of my subscribers uh, made me aware that I, I was aware of this beforehand, but 
um, to hear it from one of my subscribers was um, it, it made it more you know not more real but more um, more important that I should talk about it and share it with everybody else as well and it, it was concerning these nanobots that they're like tiny little insects but they're not they're not they're not growing they're not biological they're not they're not you know something that's just um they're not an insect that's meant to be from here the, these are nanotechnology insects that are made up uh, they're actually made of small robotics i suppose or, or something you know of similar of um, similar um i don't know technical means because you know they're so so small so they're on a nano scale and and these little things can do their own like the, there was one that was released i think it was from berkeley or berkeley or something in um a university berkeley or something over in the usa um university that released this mosquito that's um totally you know made by humans so you know we've got things like that to worry about like I say, people are already waking up first thing in the morning and the first thing they're doing is grabbing their phone. They've got the phone in their hand all day. They're, they're checking for notifications, checking on Facebook, all the other social media crap. Um, and it's, it's slowly drawing people away from this human contact that we used to have, you know, um, beforehand. Um, sorry, beforehand. Before, many, many years before we had speech, we we had psychic abilities. These have been lost um, due to language. Um, now they're taking the language away and replacing it with technology. Um, so what's going to happen with the humans? You know, I, I'm I've been aware now for a number of years, and I dare say a lot of other people have. But they're they're slowly dumbing down society. Um, they've been doing it with for years with fluoride in the water. Um, from now they're putting it in the air now they're putting it everywhere so you know even in the foods that we eat there's lots of nasty things that I'm sure that a lot of you are aware of they're, they're dumbing down society and they're doing that for a reason um, they don't want us to think they don't want us to be argumentative or because if you know if we ask questions then they've got to give answers and they don't want that. They don't want a nation of thinkers. They want a nation of robotic doers and and don't ask questions. That's what they want. Um, I'm afraid that you know they 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 keep changing the these um, chemtrails as well. They keep changing the the ingredients that they're using, a bit like the legal highs. Um, so once people are taking them to court and stopping them from doing certain spraying, they're, they're changing the formula and using that. And so, like I say, it's a, it's a catch-up game. It's like the legal highs. Um, but it's just the, um, the forces, government forces, and, and higher up than that, the people right at the top that's using it to do this, um, what I call worldwide genocide, because that's what it is. They're killing the planet, they're killing the humans on it, they're killing the animals, they're killing the trees, they're killing the plant life, they're killing the vegetation, they're killing everything with their terraforming. Um, somebody also mentioned that some of the other ingredients that are used can be used um, as a, like a thermite. Um, so, you know, in the last days, I hate to bring religious in, religion into this, but they do follow religion, and they, they, they try to make it happen. So, you know, anyway, they said that, that you know, it wouldn't be like a flood this time, it would be fire, um, you know, all through the earth and whatnot. Um, I do believe that nuclear nuclear bombs it, that that's just what they're showing you on telly with trump and king john on a load of crap but that that's just taking your eye off the ball they 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 they're playing us like as i say with nanotechnologies and things like that why would they have to use such old technology like like nuclear 
just doesn't make sense. Yeah, they are letting it leak into the seas. Yeah, they are letting it kill us like that as well. This is why I say, you know, we have to be so, so careful of what we eat. And even then, we don't have much of a choice because they're spraying everything. Um, the, the foods that we can buy are mostly GM. Um, if you're lucky to have your own fruit and vegetation in your back garden, then it's getting sprayed with chemtrails. So you see, you can't win. Um, the only way to to sort of beat it is, or not to beat it, but um, to sort of stand tall and stand up against it, is by um, good nutrition. And sometimes this falls in the hands of supplements. But you have to, you have to. You have to look at what supplements you're getting. You have to make sure that they're coming from a, a correct place and it's not trickling down to the Monsanto region again or the other, you know, 13 elites that, that, that rule the food and, and lots of medications and everything else. Supplements, foods, you name it, they've got their fingers dipped in it. So, you know, this is a war against all of us. So... Like I say, the only thing we can do is stand up and stand and unite and take these people down. If we don't, they're going to take us down. Slowly and surely, they are going to do their culling. So it's up to, it's really up to you and everybody else to, to try and wake up each other. And remember, we are one. Unite, don't fight. Love, peace, unity to all of you. Respect. And like I say, always, we're all one, no matter, okay? This is just a housing, just a shell. Inside, we're all the same. Love, peace, unity. Conspiracy calm. I'm out of here. Kiss and like. Goodbye.